A billionaire businessman with ties to the Ocean State wants to bring baseball back to McCoy Stadium. At first, Pawtucket's mayor said it was too late with a high school set to be built on the property. But now the city says it would consider a formal proposal. NBC 10's Katie Benoit is getting answers tonight on who would pay for the stadium and what's happening to the new school. You can't let this place go down, Don. A curveball could be coming to Pawtucket. A group of officials touring McCoy Stadium today, including businessman Stefan Solviev, who says he wants to save the ballpark. I'm dead serious about it. I don't say something I'm not going to back up. I'm going to back up what I say again. At the end of the day, it's going to come down the road out. The former URI student is chairman of the Solviev Group and runs a successful grain business. He wants to bring a single-A Boston Red Sox affiliate to Pawtucket. An idea some showed up to support. You know, there's always one more swing of the bat. The diamond has been empty since the Paw Sox moved to Worcester. But it's expected to cost more than $68 million to renovate the place. If you bought this, would it require any taxpayer funding or would you pay for it yourself? No, it, it would require no tax funder payment. Paying. It would come out of a foundation. So, yeah, it would be our, our, part of our foundation, so we'd make it work. But just last fall, residents voted to knock McCoy down. They approved a $330 million bond to build a new high school here. Mayor Donald Grabian says the city is open to a formal proposal, but education comes first. Moving the high school to the old Apex site isn't an option. What do you say to parents who might be concerned, you know, hearing that there's a possibility the school could be moved or a different plan? So no, that's what I mean. Right now, that's off the table. We're not moving, right? It's, and respectfully, they're going to come back and put a plan. Um, I believe that they're serious. And if there's a plan, they have to make the numbers work for them and they need to do that. So when we get to that point, we'll deal with it. Solviev says his team will be back to take another look at McCoy. He wouldn't elaborate on how his nonprofit foundation would play into a potential deal. In Pawtucket, Katie Benoit, NBC 10 News. Hi, everyone. It's Patrice Wood from NBC 10. Thanks for checking out the NBC 10 WJAR YouTube channel. Click the links on your screen for more stories from across southern New England. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button below and get notified anytime we post an update on YouTube. As always, thank you for turning to 10.